box. And that was Professor Sanjeev Gupta there. Now, experts are predicting a bumper harvest of apples this year, despite the summer heat wave that damaged some crops. And although traditional orchards are in decline, there's been a rise in a new generation of community orchards set up on shared green spaces. Our environment correspondent Helen Briggs went to find out more. Nothing spells autumn like apples, but gathering to share the harvest is becoming a thing of the past as traditional orchards vanish from the landscape. This orchard at Swan Barn Farm is one of a new generation of community orchards where people club together to plant fruit trees on local green spaces. So they're not connected to their computers or their mobiles or their TV, so that's a, being away from the usual hubbub of life, just coming somewhere that's beautiful like this, outdoors. It's just that thing of all being together and that there's something magical about it. And today volunteers are turning the apples they've helped grow into fresh juice using an ancient apple press. It's a lovely place and the trees are beautiful and doing something like this you get to meet some nice, you know, it's just a nice sociable thing to do. Better thing to do than be coming out here on a lovely day like today, um, helping the community, helping the environment. Uh, can't do better than that really. This has got an absolute amazing amount of different apples. Uh, I don't know any of their names. <laughs> The boom in community orchards is bringing back hundreds of forgotten varieties of British apple. Here at Wisley Gardens in Surrey, apple detective Jim Arbour is on a mission to identify them. By sight, touch and taste alone, he quickly recognised two mystery varieties from Swan Barn Farm. I think this is Court Pond du Plat, which is an old French apple, certainly from the Middle Ages, or possibly even Roman. This summer's heat wave and drought has caused problems for crops, but apples have fared relatively well and should be particularly sweet due to the sunshine. Well, it's going to be a bumper year, so it's going to be a lot, but also, importantly, it's going to be really good quality, I think. They're going to be quite firm and with good flavour and sweet, plenty of sugar in them, so that's going to give them generally good flavour, and that particularly applies to some of the later ripening apples, which do need that long season to ripen and get good flavour and good, um, good sweet apples. Community orchards are born out of a desire to reconnect with nature and make the most of local food and they're becoming all the more important as food prices soar. Helen Briggs, BBC News in the Surrey Hills. Time for a look at the weather now. Here is Susan Powell. Hello, we're off to a chilly start.